Hello and welcome to the Newcastle stop on the virtual field trip and we're down here on the quay side in Newcastle and next to me you can see the River Tyne and behind me you can see a series of bridges and they explain why Newcastle is where it is. The city of Newcastle grew up here because it's the first major crossing point on the River Tyne coming upstream from the North Sea. We know there's probably a prehistoric crossing point here. The river used to be fordable at this point and there's been Bronze Age objects found in the river here. But the first bridge we know about is in the Roman period because the, the Roman name for Newcastle was Pons Aelius, which means the, the, the bridge of the Emperor Hadrian. And there's a Roman fort here. As we go through the medieval and post-medieval period, the position of Newcastle at the point where we have the, the, the meeting of a major north-south route, so coming up from Gateshead and crossing the rivers here, and that west route coming in from the sea meant that Newcastle was always an important point for trade uh, uh, and for things like fishing as well. And we'll, over this field trip we'll look a little bit more about the history of the quayside, but the key things to note at this point are on either side the slopes down towards the river are quite steep. So actually the centre of Newcastle stands up on the plateau above us and that explains why the topography and development of the quayside is so interesting because this area has always struggled with a lack of space. The key thing to understanding the development of the quayside is appreciating that all this flat ground we see here is reclaimed land. Originally the river went right up to the houses behind us and you can see there's some very old medieval buildings over there behind the scaffolding and they were originally on the river front. When the Romans were here they were interested in having a big area of flat land so they built their forts up the top of the bank but as trade uh, exchange particularly across the North Sea became increasingly important for Newcastle uh, in the 11th, 12th and 13th centuries the commercial world started to dominate. So not surprisingly, it was down on the river frontage that there was most pressure on space. So what happens is initially we have simple wooden timber frontages, harbour or quayside constructed along the river to allow big trading ships to moor up. Progressively over time, those uh, quaysides are moved forward. The, the ground behind is infilled and slowly over time, the river frontage moves forwards, making more and more space available for people to build accommodation and particularly things like warehousing. A lot of the warehouses have now been cleared, particularly in the 19th and 20th century, but there are one or two buildings, such as a, what's now the warehouse pub, which still survives. And you can see it's got a long, it's got a very narrow frontage and a long kind of rear area, which is maximising the uh, uh, the, the, the ability to use that space uh, on the river frontage economically. 